Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our playthrough of Dragon Warrior 2. In our last episode, uh, we... What did we do in our last episode? We got the princess. It's been a while. Uh, we got the princess, and uh, we were getting ready to kit her out before we could go adventure around some more. So, I currently have a full party of all three. Uh, the princess, we've got up to level 9 from where she was at level 1 when we picked her up. And she currently has equipped the magic knife and some clothes. And she's got a pretty good set of spells. She's got a sleep spell, a better heal spell, a good attack spell. She's a pretty good wizard, it looks like. So, with that in mind, we kind of were left without an idea of where we had to go next. Hence my stumbling. Coming back in. We can reach, uh, it looks like, two destinations. We could maybe... Oh, I don't even know if we could reach this destination. Actually, that's all walled off with mountains. So we really can't get over here right now, I don't think. We're looking at the map. We're here in Moonbrook. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here in Hamlin. I'm going to head past Moonbrook. And I think we're going to head on down to here, see if this crosses or not. I'm not sure if it will. If it does, I guess we'll go north, up to Landport. Remember, our overall goal is to destroy Hargon, the evil wizard. We just don't really know what we're supposed to do next, though, which is the kind of thing. So let's get headed down to the south, shall we? Nice leisurely stroll. I mean, I just don't see anywhere else for us to go. And the game really hasn't given us a hint as to what we're supposed to do next. So... Ooh! Some lizard flies! Seems kinda nasty. Those centipods hit so hard. Like, it's just silly how hard they hit. Lizard flies, they don't hit that hard. I'm pretty sure that Grug can kill the centipod. Come on, Grug. Oh, lizard flies can cast fireball. Well, that. That just changed my entire appraisal of their silly little faces. Let's get rid of those. Wow. All right, we're gonna head past Moonbrook Castle here. Remember, it's surrounded by that poison. Let's fight these army ants. I've kind of found that letting Grug just kind of beat things to death with his weapons, and letting the magicians just keep Grug alive, seems to be a better use of the magic. Um. You know, I could spend a couple magic points here and there doing attack spells, but when the healing spells are so cheap and hit points so abundant for Grug, uh, it doesn't seem to make sense to use a lot of those healing uh, magic points in battle. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, looks like we're going to have to cross a bridge. Things may change. Let's, uh, let's heal Grug up a bit. 70 hit points. What do we got here? Oh, this is this is nothing new at all. We have fought this plenty of times. Come on, guys, let's do this. And gals. Don't want our princess to think that we've forgotten about her. Since so she has so many magic points. on, Orfeo, finish him off. Good job. Much more golden experience here. Alright, what do we have here? When in need, visit the Houses of Healing. Okay. Well, I guess this little bridge just kind of goes across. Okay. 
Well, I guess we will have to enact the plan that I was talking about and just head... Can we get anywhere from here? There's a little town, but I don't think there's any way in. Let's, let's look around these mountains. See if we can get anywhere inside this mountain range. I don't think we can from here. I think it's going to cut off two ghost rats. We've had mouse ghosts, but never a ghost rat. How tough are these? Okay. We have hit a new level of danger. Oh, those things hit hard. Kind of concerning, actually. But they don't give very much experience points, it looks like. Uh, let's heal... Alyssa. Yeah, this is not going to let us through. A Carnivog? What is a Carnivog? It's like it's the, a man-eating plant of doom. It's not as scary as, I, as it looked, but... Got rid of it. Yeah, so it's either... We head north in this desert, I guess. We got a, a little oasis here kind of nice. But we're going to head up to that... Oh, that's scary. Uh, up to that north tower. I go am going to cast a spell here. I'm going to cast this on these Carnivogs. Oh, no. So that's why they just... they make you go to sleep. And they do massive damage. Let's head up and see what this tower is all about up here. If we can just get somebody to attack <laughs> this last stupid thing. There you go, Grug. Good job. Yeah, we're okay for hit points. Pass these mountains here. Some more of these things. We can take them out. Hopefully without too much trouble. Without too many sleep spells. Ooh, Orfeo with a critical blow. Alyssa, not so much. There we are. We should be very close now. He said, not expecting nonsense. Okay, I just need Grug to attack the baboon. I don't know why I wasted... My attacks like that. I'm starting to feel like we may have traveled too far. That this tower I'm headed to up in the north is maybe not the destination we should be seeking. But, let's not give up yet. Always have the return spell and a wyvern ring if we ever need it. We shouldn't have to walk all the way back. Because I feel like getting the gold key is our next thing that we need to do. So it's kind of a weird, weird tower up here. Uh, let's... You'll be able to see... That I am uh, right here is this tower we've gotten to, the Dragon's Horn Tower. Um, really was the only place we could travel to. It's 
this is either our next destination or we've got to head back and go to this tower. We've been everywhere else, and if those two places aren't where we have to go, then it's a matter, I think, of walking around and talking to everybody. Um, so let's find out what's going on in this tower, shall we? Some snazzy music. I don't think we've heard this music before at all, actually. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. I'm hitting the wrong buttons here completely. Um, okay, I'm just pulling the map up of this tower. Oh. No, this is not going to work. This tower has no treasures and has nowhere for us to go. Um, so this is not where we needed to go. Well, that's kind of upsetting. If you can see, this is the tower right here. Looks like you can climb up the tower. And then when you do, you get to an end that just kind of like points off to the edge that you can walk off. Isn't there a cloak you can pick up for jumping off high things? Maybe that's what that's for. Maybe we have to jump off this at a later time. But, not where we need to be going right now. So let's go ahead and talk to no one. Uh, let's use our return spell. That should take us, yes, back to Hamlin. Kind of a good center spot for us. That's kind of nice that we can... Get back here, get healed up. I guess we're going to have to talk to people. Um, I, and fight, figure out where we're supposed to go now. Okay, we know about the ghosts. Talk to everyone. We already, yeah, because there was the dog. There's a tall tower, and then a brave adventurer may find the Cloak of Wind. It can save thee if thou falls from a great height. Okay. Got it. So, here is what we need to do then. We... Whoop, we do have to go to a tower. So, I think we'll need the Cloak of Wind to jump from here to here. Like, off the high height. But the Cloak of Wind must be in this tower. So, is there a way, as we zoom in, way in on this map, how in the devil, I guess we have to go up around Hamlin and down this way. Alright, I see where we have to go. Let's get ahead of that way. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's head off towards the tower. Fight a magician in two centipods. I kind of wish that you could pick up a heal all party members item. When you think about, for example, the Final Fantasy games, they know that you're going to be out and about. You've got a party of characters. It's frustrating to have to wander all the way back to town to get healed. Um, especially in the first Final Fantasy where your magical uses are so limited. So what you can do is you can grind up your gold and you can purchase... Uh, this is not where we want to go. Um, you can purchase houses and tents and items to take with you to restore the entire party back to full health and, and magic. So, if this game had something like that, I think it would be much better. Like, it would just feel less tedious. Uh, just to give you an idea, since the last episode, to get her to level 9, uh, I had to grind for another hour and a half, two hours, uh, which... 
you know, nine levels in two hours. That doesn't sound too crazy when you think about it. That was only two levels for Grug and Orfeo, who are at the appropriate level uh, for where we're at. So... Oh, no! I've been talking this whole time with the map up. Oh, my goodness. That... I've done that before. It's gonna be my... My signature thing. Well, here we go. You missed a, a battle of nothing. I walked from here up to here. That's what you missed, folks. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. That I need to be double careful about that. It's the only problem with the way I have it set up to show the map is when I do, I'm not looking up at this thing. Go ahead and take out these baboons. Alright. Maybe if I had the map overlaid on the gameplay with some kind of opacity so you could see through it to the actual gameplay, that would be cool. That would take a lot of work that I'm not going to be able to figure out. So we'll just continue on. Uh, let's see. I think I see how this is going to go. What we're going to have to do to get there. Hopefully you saw it too, since you got to look at the map for quite a long time. Yes. Hit anyone but Alicia. Lissy are doing work there with a critical hit. Come on, folks. Now I'm worried about how long that map was up. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to reshoot this whole episode. That would be upsetting to me. But we'll see. All the professionalism you expect from health run, government run healthcare. Whoa! Wow, nice fella. Alright, so, looking at the map, yes, we're gonna go across here, then we're gonna go down. There's that uh, little swamp where we found the Mirror of Ra. We should be able to head down this way. Then across this other little bridge to our right. Oh, wow. It's a lot of army ants in one place. Alright, let's take these guys out. And while we do... Oh, there's one last one. Now has defeated the army ant. Beautiful. Hmm. Oh, these are those magic ants that put us to sleep. We gotta be careful here. Hopefully we can wipe them out real quick. I'm noticing a lot of cities and stuff that are... Like, they're not named, but they're on the map, and they have, uh, they look like towns, but they're on islands and stuff like that. So I don't know if maybe we'll be getting a different way to travel at some point in the game, I'm not sure. Oh, goodness gracious, let's fight these two babbles. this bridge.
There we are. Let's try this again. Across this bridge. Across this other bridge. And I think we need to... Stay here in the desert area. Oh, oh four of these things. Let's see if we can take them out quickly before they become a problem. Now it begins. Good. Nobody fell asleep. It's what we needed. And of course, then Grug fell asleep. Ooh. Come on, stop chanting them spells at me and let me kill you. Down you get. I will say, being farther into this game now, that, uh, I feel, I, I feel okay saying this, I think that the look of the sprites, especially the enemy sprites, in the first game, I think I like better. I think the drawings just looked better. Um, I wonder if, with the larger amount of enemies in this game, uh, there's some palette swaps, like in the first, but I wonder if they had to give up on sprite size to make fit the cartridge. Who knows? But we've gotten to this tower. Let's dip our heads in here and look. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a seven-level tower, according to the map that I'm looking at. That just... That whole getting attacked as you leave something is just silly. Right, let's take out these last babbles here. Right at the very end, so I'm trying to finish up talking here. Come on, Babble B and Babble D. Just give in. All right. So, folks, we will be heading into this tower. On our next episode of Gaming with Grug, we'll head through, and hopefully we'll find the Cloak of Winds at the top. So folks, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, and as always, we hope to see you soon.